Funny how people are always entertained by what goes on in the industry, but they never have an insight as to what goes on behind the scenes that lead to all these performances that we see playing out on these platforms. Now you've got to be stuck on stupid to underestimate the value of a catalog like Robert Kelly and why hearing things like Mute Art Kelly from those individuals who have no problem sugarcoating allegations by certain people in the industry and allowing them to get on platforms and assassinate the character of the next. When everybody can see plain and clear, these artists go through the same things. So when I come out here and I say this whole topic in itself is bigger than Robert Kelly and all these weird ass people are activated to come on these platforms to keep facilitating these false narratives. It should be a no brainer why I decided to document it what I see rather than be somebody's crash dummy refurbishing information that clearly makes Robert Kelly look guilty and all of these people that have been labeled enablers, co-conspirators, the opportunities to do all this behind the scenes nonsense, put all these stories out to these journalists, come to YouTube and gas up certain individuals and then hide their hands and act like they're really doing these things on behalf of Robert Kelly. And then when I hear all these people on these platforms speak on the topic at hand, talk about this sentence that was passed down to this man and not even recognize the things they're talking about is not why this man was convicted in New York is why I can't take a lot of these opinions serious and why I, unlike others, didn't rely on people bringing me janky ass information when I can, as you see, document what I believe what I think on my own terms without being put in the midst of a federal investigation by dummies. Now granted, some people took a lot of people's position as them trying to control their platforms instead of realizing that the things that they were engaging in behind the scenes being led by some of these sketchy ass people is why some of us decided to keep our distance and watch the bullshit play out. Can I with you? What? ACP, do you see this? Look, if it ain't official Dana J, Levi for Kelly, Prima Donna News, I don't even want to see it. It's take the time. Look, you got some weed? Dang. You gotta get some. All right, hurry up. These and them here, everybody here, we waiting on you. I do believe, in my heart, that 1999 video that was done with R. Kelly and that little girl, I do believe that that little girl was underage. I do know for a fact that that was R. Kelly in that video. Now, clearly, unlike a lot of these people, I made it very clear. I'm not here to align myself next to nobody, to try to get next to Robert Kelly's inner circle, to try to get next to some of these people who claim to be supporters. And I just showed you exactly why. Because every time these janky ass people brought a new person my way or tried to bring my attention to an individual, I'd go check them out and see them saying some good goofy ass shit like what I just showed you and now you see why so many people are misguided because so many people were put here to continuously keep saying counterproductive ass comments putting out counterproductive ass messages that don't dispute the accusations that I clearly show you are all over the place and the origins of them all. 
Yet it should say a lot that even on this man's sentencing day, people were more focused with YouTube shenanigans than again pushing the talking points of how this whole RICO case is manufactured. All these people put all this information on these platforms and hid behind the most gullible, stupid characters who were willing to take the fall for them. Do I have sympathy for them? Fuck no. Why? Because I showed them just like I showed you why I don't fuck with none of this bullshit that these people are engaging in. And before you think I'm on the team with you, people are ready to just make me click. I don't give a fuck about them. Okay, kumbaya, kumbaya. We all have an understanding and respect. But are we friends on the team? No, not at all. The only person that I'm friends with and on the team with is DJ Tyson. Nobody else. Not one person. Not one person. If they ain't yelling the enterprise and they tell a lie. Point blank, period. If they ain't part of the enterprise, they tell a lie. Because anybody that's, that's pretty, the thing that Robert Sylvester Kelly would say, hey, the indictment says anybody that's with them is the enterprise, and I'm with them. That's what I'm saying. And if you're with them, then say you the enterprise too. Don't say it because I told you. Just tell it because that's what they said. They said the enterprise, the managers, bodyguards, runners, personal assistants, and people of the entourage of Robert Sebastian Kelly, which will be his fans. That's all of us. So if you ain't saying, hey, According to your indictment, I'm supposed to tell you if you ain't willing to go as far as being willing to go and we'll pay the consequences if there is any consequences, but I doubt that there'll be a consequence from the taxpaying citizen, from the man who has uh, took secretly bank credit care cards and defrauded a federal financial institution for personal gain for his goddamn stuff. All right? Are you going to keep playing with me? Don't you know my home kidnap kids, they ass and throw them over the bridge. My home would love to kidnap kids, fuck them in they ass and throw them over the bridge. Now eat that. Sleep on that. Before you get some motherfucking way, get fucked in your ass and get thrown over my now, my message started out real short, simple, and straight to the point. Ain't nobody behind the scenes gonna gas me up to come on these platforms and act ignorant for no reason. I ain't raising no money. I ain't telling the attorneys how to do their job. I ain't submitting no motions behind their back. I ain't trying to sue no accusers. I ain't doing none of that goofy ass shit to make no entertainment for nobody. So when I seen individuals who just kept on pushing my buttons, I realized either one or two things. Either they're completely dumb or they're out here on their own mission with has nothing to do with me. So then, as I see them continuously trying to incite people to attack me, that was clearly where I had to realize these people ain't that dumb. They're clearly out here capping for some of these people that should be under investigation. Now, as I said, six degrees of separation. If I don't believe Robert Kelly committed any of these crimes he was convicted of, why would I give my platform to these individuals I suspect are putting things out here deliberately to hurt this man's case, period? So, yep, I watched all these individuals team up every time I come out here and say something with common sense just because they want to rely on these janky-ass sources. I watched them try to incite people to come at me just to remind you we peep game over here. It's like the sweetest joy next to get pussy. Picture breath, grab, load it. Right the words being quoted. Quick to pick the with the rap gang story. Bow down. Hail Mary, one quick C. What do we have here now? It's my
What's up with Don? I'm going to call Don. Yo, I got Don's personal number. I'm going to call him. Oh, Trina, Triana, how are you pronounce it? No, I didn't tag you. I tagged my decorators, but I did tell everybody I wanted to thank my entire team. Uh, there's too many names named by name everybody, but I tag because they deserve that credit. You get credit when credit is due, and they deserve that credit. <laughs> <laughs> Now, it was clear a lot of these fans are willing to team up and run with bullshit if it goes against a person they don't like and overlook all the information I have given you to give you insight as to why these people within his so-called inner circle are suspect as fuck to me and why I prefer to keep my distance. Now, common sense should tell you right about now what I'm doing is displaying to you the criminal conspiracy that I've witnessed playing out against Robert Kelly that people like me, the real supporters, have been speaking on since day one, while stupid ass people who don't research the facts, who listen to propaganda, get on platforms and then try to convince the people listening that this whole conspiracy we speak on is just pulled out of our ass and doesn't have facts to back it up. So maybe all these people speaking fell for the bait and switch and got so much more focus on these YouTube personalities that took away from the focus of these individuals leading these narratives, leading this criminal conspiracy, and who should equally be investigated just like the crash dummies they put out here. But it's funny, even as you all watch, even them fall out, people couldn't separate their personal agenda to keep R. Kelly down, to recognize all this they're putting out here gives people like me reason to doubt this man's guilt as the crash dummies crash and burn. But let's just think about this logically. With all the talking and dry snitching they've been doing on these platforms, how long you think they're going to hold it down as they're given the same treatment as Robert Kelly? But hey, maybe some people so gassed up on their own hate, they forgot. I come out here saying all these people needed to be investigated instead of putting all the blame on one individual and hiding behind a RICO enterprise that doesn't exist when it comes to the music. Now, what we saw playing on these platforms speaks for itself. <laughs> money go the less than ten thousand dollars that was said to be in the account and prior motions filed by the state in the r kelly's case where did the money go less than ten thousand but fat boy has already told us that over twenty thousand was sent and three transaction by one individual. What's going on around here, y'all? Some real fishy. Something is real fishy. Do y'all think I should put Prima Ho on the board? Do y'all think I should put Prima Ho on the board? If so, let me see a one in the chat for yes. 
a two in the chat for no. Do you think Prima Ho needs to be on the board? If so, let me see a one in the chat for yes, a two in the chat for no. I'm not trying to sling no money. I'm just trying to see what's going on around me. You know? It's a lot of suspicious movement going on around here. You know, if we was in the street and motherfuckers was moving like this, man, it, it, it might be a cold one left out there. Now, it's funny, even on Robert Kelly's sentencing day, all these goofy-ass people were more concerned about the same individual that they watched get on these platforms being irate, targeting so many different women, posting people's kids, posting addresses, carrying on all this rhetoric, and even being implicated in this bullshit murder-for-hire narrative that I personally try to avoid talking about, as clearly all these people wanted to make it content. Make this shit make sense. So if anybody want to sit around here talking about who's to blame for what, it's the people who sat back and didn't say shit. As I continuously showed you, regardless of whether you believe the rhetoric they're spilling clearly this ain't the way to represent when you're advocating for an individual Like me around them. Because these motherfuckers wouldn't be here right now. 
It wouldn't be a fucking board. You know what it'd be? You know what it'd be? A whole lot of, please, leave me alone. Please, I'm done. I already told the truth. That's what it'd be fucking with me. I don't fucking play. You don't know me, lady. The conclusion of this video, for all those people that got offended trying to jump ahead of my content, make assumptions and disregard what I'm telling you and showing you, fuck your motherfucking feelings, because I told you how it would play out. And I also told you I'm very patient when it comes to reading all the documents involved with this case and why I said to disassociate Robert Kelly from all this monkey shit you see playing out on YouTube for obvious reasons. So in conclusion, Robert Kelly's true supporters are not swayed by yesterday's sentencing nor do I personally have any empathy for any of these fools who jumped in the midst of a federal investigation, ignored their common sense, and sacrificed their lives trying to prove a stupid-ass point that, as I told you, this was all a spiritual attack between me, you, and Robert Kelly. Everybody has their own battle. Now, am I going to go out here and tell you to break the law to prove a point? That that's stupid. God has the final say. Unless, hey, that's just one of those things that is filled with hypocrisy. <laughs>